Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be doing a sort of roundup video talking about some of your guys' requests, and we're going to be going through maybe potentially as to what's going to be happening in some different departments in Season 5. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so... Earlier today, I put out a message on my community tab, which you can find on my channel next to the video and playlist section. So, essentially, I asked you guys what videos you want to see, what do you want me to talk about. So, we're going to go through a few of these things, and also, there's some new news about the Supergirl film they're doing. So, let's first talk about the Supergirl film. So, they officially announced that Supergirl is going to start filming in the first quarter of 2020. And so this film obviously won't have Melissa Benoist in. And I know everyone wants Melissa Benoist. Of course I would love Melissa Benoist because she is the Supergirl. You know, she is the definitive one. She is so freaking good. She's perfect as Supergirl. But one thing you have to keep in mind is they can't actually cast her for this film. Unless they're going to film the film in like different parts. You know, a few weeks here, a few weeks there. Whenever Melissa goes on a hiatus all wait to the summer but that will still only be like four weeks honestly there is no way the schedule will work out so she would be able to do Supergirl so also with them announcing it's in the first quarter of 2020 what that means is basically just the first few months of 2020 so from January to about March ish is when they're going to be shooting so we've got no like official director right now we don't have an official cast like, we have no idea as to what's going on apart from a few different plot details. And we know they wanted Reed Moreno to direct the film. Not sure if they still do or if they don't. But it seems like everything behind the scenes sort of ramping up. So I would expect a casting for Supergirl to come out very, very soon. But I'm still not sure who I would cast. Maybe Emma Watson. I don't know. Alright, so let's move on to talk about the TV show. And so the first question is... What Supergirl characters will be in Crisis? So you're talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths, the crossover this year. So if you chart back to the past crossovers, a lot of the side characters barely get any time because it's so heavily focused on the story. And obviously a lot of the side characters don't have such a big impact, especially if they don't have powers or anything like that. So with Crisis on Infinite Earths, I reckon basically everyone who is sort of superhero-like is going to be in the crossover. So... I would say, yeah, definitely Alex is going to be in it. Kyla was actually at the Ultimates the other day when I was there, the convention in England, and she said they've been given a month to film. So from that, you can sort of infer that, yeah, Alex is going to be in the crossover. No worries about that. So Alex will be there. Obviously, Supergirl, Brainiac 5, I reckon they're going to try and squeeze him in. Also, I think they'll squeeze in Dreamer, definitely Martian Manhunter. So I think it'll be those lot. I think it'll be the heroes and if they bring back any heroes like say Monel, maybe for crisis of course they would introduce them maybe bring back a few legion members if they're bringing win back because the hundredth episode would be around the same time so that would make sense so whoever's around whoever's a superhero and if win returns win will be in the crossover if they can fit him in Okay, so let's move on to the next question, and the next question is, who would lead the Leviathan organization in Supergirl Season 5? Is the old lady Granny Goodness, or just someone else? Okay, so this is interesting. So yeah, Leviathan in the comics, it's part of the Batman comics, and it is an organization, but it's led by this one entity, so I reckon it's going to be very similar to that. I think there'll be one person controlling it, but not like in the way that the Children of Liberty were sort of handled like they were all just rallying up. I reckon there will be someone controlling all these people because in the finale we saw the people turn around and they say Leviathan is everywhere, Leviathan is everyone. It seems very much so that they're being controlled and it's not actually these random people. So I reckon it will be one person and I don't know as to who it will be right now but I reckon that will obviously be revealed later down the season so probably about the mid-season time maybe as a finale cliffhanger would be very interesting and is the old lady Granny Goodness so if you don't know who Granny Goodness is she essentially is a helper one of the sort of more trusted advisors of Darkseid so she's a big thing in the comics 
and no, this woman is definitely not Granny Goodness. This is just a completely random woman, and because of the way they portray Leviathan, it seems like, yeah, this is just a woman who's being controlled, who is a sort of mouthpiece for this entity, for this organization. So no, I don't think that's Granny Goodness. Like, I would really, really be surprised if they revealed that. So let's move on to talk about the next thing. And so the next question is Supergirl movie and how that will affect the TV show. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this. It will have no effect on the TV show. The TV show will be the same. Same thing happened when Justice League came out. We had a different version of The Flash. Everyone sort of gravitated away from him. Like, I thought it was the worst thing about that film even though I did actually enjoy Justice League. I think it's going to have no effect, even if it's a really good film, I think it's going to be separate and it's going to be just completely different from the TV show, so it's going to have no effect really. Maybe a few comparisons here and there by some websites, but honestly, Melissa is the perfect Supergirl and I'm really looking forward to this Supergirl film, even if it's without Melissa, because I love Supergirl, I love the character, so I'm naturally very excited and it won't affect the TV show, so don't worry about that. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the next thing. So, how do you think the finale leads to Crisis on Infinite Earth? So, what happened in the finale was we got the teaser of Malefaic, that being John's brother. He's a villain in the comics, he's a Martian, and he causes an extinction level event. So, basically wipes out all of the green Martians. But on the TV show, obviously, it's different. It's said to be the white Martians, but that might be revealed to be it wasn't actually the White Martians, maybe it was Malefaic, and that's why he's been exiled all this time, but he was brought in by the Monitor, so that's a very specific purpose. So I reckon what the finale teases is Malefaic will be the villain for the first half of the season until we get to Crisis, and whatever he's going to be doing throughout that first half of the season is going to lead towards Crisis. Also with Lex, I think that's not going to come to fruition until Crisis, and I reckon Lex will show up at some point. Okay, so let's move on. This is on the possibility of more Super Friends or other heroes joining Supergirl after Crisis is over. So basically, is there, any, is there going to be any other people coming or is there going to be returning characters? Well, we know that Wynn's coming, but I still have my doubts about it if Wynn's actually going to show up because, you know, they said, oh, he's coming back, he's going to be in lots of episodes next season, but he didn't turn up in any in season four. So I'm kind of doubting that he's going to come back. He probably is going to continue on Broadway. So I don't know about Wynn right now. Don't know about mon -El. Chris is not super busy, so I think if they have a story for him, I think it will come back. Obviously, Imra's not going to be around for a while because you know, Amy Jackson is pregnant in real life, so that's not going to happen, and I don't think any of the other characters are really set for return, Kat's not going to return, but new characters, I think there's definitely a possibility after Crisis, as you say, maybe like a different version of one of these characters, maybe like Power Girl would be interesting, I think that would be great to see Melissa working with Melissa again, but like on a hero standpoint, not a villain standpoint, so... I reckon there's possibility. Right now, I wouldn't name names because, you know, there's just so many characters out there, but maybe a Legion member would be interesting, who is obviously very different from Brainiac 5. Okay, so the next question is, will Kara ever get a chance for romance again? And who? So, I don't think they're going to do this because of the way they ended Season 3 with the very specific lines that they said that Essentially what they set up was they are in love and they are meant to be and They just can't be with each other right now So the idea from that finale is that one day eventually once mon -El is done with his super earring in the future When he stopped Brainiac and when Kara's you know fine in the present which she is right now So I think it's a lot of waiting and I don't think she's going to get a new romantic interest due to how they left it. If they left it in a different way and mon was just like, yeah, screw it, I'm going to the future, it's fine. I'm, I'm just going to go, you know, you go live your life. I think Kara is still waiting for mon to return. And I think if they set up a new romantic interest, I don't think it will sit right because of the way they ended it. Saying that, oh yeah, they are in love, but they just 
a star cross they can't be together due to the situations of them being a superhero so it wouldn't really make sense in my opinion okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video i know this is kind of different so let me know give me some feedback in the comments down below so leave a like subscribe turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any videos over the summer i'm going to be at san diego comic con this summer so i'm super excited please be sure to follow me on twitter to stay up to date with me because I'll be obviously tweeting as I go up to the event and once I'm there. So if you're there, say hi to me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.